everyone. So if you're a regular viewer of mine, you'll know that I don't tend to do many hauls. And the reason for that is I don't actually like watching hauls. Like, I don't really enjoy watching other people's hauls. I just feel like they're kind of a bit in uninformative and I feel like I don't learn anything from them. And I can kind of watch them for a couple of minutes and then I get bored and I'll have to go and watch something else. So that's why. And also, I don't tend to do massive shops. I buy little and often too often probably but um i've bought a few things recently that i thought i'd just come on here and show you there's a few kind of make a few bits some shoes and some clothes and um my hair is driving me absolutely mental today my hair i will look fine and then i want to go and film and in the camera i get hair issues um <laughs> but yeah i'll start with the kind of beauty and that kind of thing first because obviously those of you who want this channel for kind of its beauty aspect won't want to watch the other things so I'll just start with that. The first two items are skincare items, and one of them featured in my favourites. Actually, some of the makeup items have featured in my favourites videos already. So some of these I've tried as well, which is good because it's kind of a collective haul from the past month and a half or so, maybe a bit longer than that even. So, <clears throat> so yeah, like this for example. This is the number seven hot cloth cleanser and I've got a review of this on my blog which I'll link in the description box for you to go and look at and I bought this about a month ago or so with one of the number seven five pound off vouchers and I really like it so you've got kind of like a mini review there if you want to go and have a look at that and then I also bought the Boots Botanics skin um, brightening toner which was in the clearance section for £1.50 because they're repackaging it but I really love this toner I've loved it for a really long time so I'm really excited to start using that again and I've used it a little bit really like this then makeup wise I have bought a new mascara I bought the Maybelline Illegal Length mascara which looks like this every time I show things I feel like it doesn't really focus very well but never mind. But this is what it, the brush looks like. It's a really unusual brush. It's kind of really spaced out. The bristles are really spaced out. If you can see right there. And um, I haven't quite made up my mind about this. I've only used it for a couple of days. Because I only bought it on the weekend, I think. But um, I haven't made up my mind as to whether or not I like this yet. So I will make my mind up and let you know. Then, in terms of nail polishers, three of these were in my favourites videos and I love them. The first one is Maybelline's Express Finish um, Turquoise Lagoon, which I'm wearing on my nails right now. And it's just this kind of bright turquoise colour, really pretty. Then we've got Essie's Cute as a Button, which I'm wearing on my toes at the moment. And I like, but I don't absolutely love. I think they're incredibly overpriced. But um, yeah, that's Essie's Cute as a Button. And Sally Hansen's Salon Complete Manicure, or whatever they're called, in First Kiss, which I really like. And then I also bought a lipstick, which um, I really don't need any more of. I've just got far too many lipsticks, but I had enough Boots points, so I treated myself. And I've still got, I think, £17 worth of Boots points on my cards, and I'm going to treat myself to some of the Revlon um, lip crayon things, like the dupes of the Clinique Chubby Sticks. But this is a Max Factor lipstick and it's called Pink Brandy. And this is what it looks like. It's just a really kind of pretty peachy corally colour, really pigmented, really nice. But I think it's a little bit overpriced for Max Factor. But um, yeah, and I think the packaging is quite nice as well. It reminds me of YSL packaging, which I think is kind of what they were trying to achieve with that. Um, now I'll just do a few bits of jewellery that I got and I just want to mention as well that I had family here from abroad um, last week so some of these items were gifts, I didn't buy all of these, some of them were gifts but I'll tell you the ones that were gifts, it's not like anyone sent them to me, they were just gifts from friends or family and um, this first one right here is this ring which my cousin gave me as a gift and it's just got Swarovski crystals in the middle and then two black bands and it's quite thick and chunky. And I really like it because I think it's kind of quite masculine but kind of pretty at the same time and it looks really lovely on. And then this ring she gave me too, um, which is just a silver kind of antique ring and it's just got this kind of greeny, it looks black on camera probably but it's a deep green colour, this kind of gemstone on it, really pretty. And then I've got these two little earrings um, that my mum bought me that are really, really cute. And I'm going to try and hold these up so you can see them. But they're these little silver hearts. And basically they're a heart in a heart in a heart. And then they've got a little dangly bit at the bottom. And I love these. I think they're just so pretty. And I've worn them loads since I had them, which was only about a week. So that's a good sign. 
Next, um, I'll start with shoes, and I'll start with the most exciting pair, and these were a gift from my sister. We were shopping, and she wanted to have a look in Dorothy Perkins, and we had to look, and I don't normally buy anything from there unless, like, it's the sale time, and I'll go in and have a quick look. It's just not the kind of shop that appeals to me. But I had seen these shoes in the window and I thought they were really nice and they were £35. And I am on a bang when it comes to high heels. I'm not buying any more high heels in the near future because I've just got a ridiculous amount and I don't wear them enough. And I just don't need any more. But we went in and these gorgeous babies were reduced to £15. And they've got this kind of ruched detailing here and on the back this kind of ruched detailing that makes your heel look really gorgeous and they're just this vibrant shiny pink colour and I just love them. I know they're kind of a little bit waggish in a way but that's kind of what I like about them. I'm very classic when it comes to clothes, I'm very safe and classic so I like accessories to be a little bit out there and I just think that they're really really cute and um, I said right I'm, um, I'm not buying them, I tried them on and I was like oh no not buying them. We left the shop and then I went into another shop and my sister went back to Dorothy Perkins and bought them for me as a surprise and I was so surprised and I was really really happy and I wore them out on Friday night and they just looked gorgeous. And then I bought these little pair of flats from Primark and I love the Primark ballerina shoes. I think they're just really comfortable and um, they never hurt my feet. They're quite bendy but they've still got quite a sturdy sole and they're only £4 and these are kind of a pale ice gold colour and I've worn them a couple of times since I bought them so I like those. And then these were from the Topshop sale. Um, which I didn't buy anything clothes wise, I didn't like any of the things that they had in the sale really and anything I did like was, you know, only in anorexic or um, too big sizes but I bought these sandals and they're a kind of nude colour and then they've got these little gold bauble sort of detailing on them and I love this detailing, I think it's just so pretty and unusual and I love the fact that they're nude because I feel like gladiator sandals, especially if you've got chubby legs like I have, can make your legs look even chubbier but because these are nude they kind of are quite flattering um, and they don't kind of chop you off at the fattest part of your legs so I really 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 love these and I've worn them loads. I've worn them loads, I've only had them for about a week, but I've probably worn them about four times since I've had them. And now we're going to move on to clothes. The first one is a warehouse jumper, which um, there was only one of, and I really, really liked it, but it had a tiny little snag in it. So I asked the lady if they had any more, and she said, no, but I'll give you a 10% discount. So I said, okay, and... I'm just turning it inside out for you. And I've worn this as well twice since I bought it, which was last week. So you can tell that I really like something if you've worn it already twice since you've had it. And it's just this black kind of fine knit jumper. And you probably won't be able to see very well, but it's kind of got stripes on it, black stripes. That's the bottom of it, it's kind of dipped and then it's got a gold exposed zip at the back. And just with a black vest underneath, it's made the camera go really weird colour now, hasn't it? Never mind. Um, yeah, it's just really, really lovely on and really warm but kind of appropriate for this time of year, I think, because it's really quite horrible weather here. It's raining and that kind of thing, but it's not freezing and this is just the perfect kind of texture for this time of year. And then another clothing item that I got which was a gift um, from a friend of my mum's I think it was she was just like oh I, I bought you this and I was just like oh that was nice of you um, but it's this dress here and I have no idea where this is from it hasn't got a label I recognise it says it's from Image Boutiques so I don't know but it's this kind of grey taupe mushroom colour dress and this is what the top looks like, the top sort of ruched and then it just goes straight down and it's got ties at the back and it does look really pretty on but um, I think I need to lose a few pounds before I can wear it because it makes my tummy look a bit lumpy and then this I've had for almost a month now and I've worn this so much I featured it in an outfit of the day actually and I have worn this to death and it's this grey specked Topshop skater skirt and this is what it looks like just you know your average skater skirt but it is just so flattering on my shape and so comfortable and so wearable I've worn it when it's hot I've worn it with tights and boots when it's cooler it's just a really versatile great piece to have in your wardrobe and I love it 
And then, last but not least, I've got two maxi dresses here. And in the summer, I live in maxi dresses because I don't really like my legs every day. Like, I feel like I only like getting my legs out if I'm going out in the evening somewhere glamorous and I've kind of had time to prepare them and they're completely perfect. And, you know, I've got perfect fake tan on and that kind of thing. During the day, if I just want to, like, nip out for lunch or something in the summer and it's nice and warm, I don't really like having to... I don't like having to have to go and get um, all ready for that kind of thing. I like to just chuck things on. So maxi dresses are great for that and they're really flattering. They kind of hide all the lumps and bumps, which let's face it, I have a lot of right now. And um, this one is from Roxy and this was a gift as well from my mum. And I wouldn't have picked this myself, but it looks really nice on and it's this kind of pink with navy blue stripes on it all the way down and then it's got an elasticated waist and just a kind of flowy skirt but I wore this with just a grey cardigan over the top and it looks really nice and pink really suits my colouring I don't tend to wear it very much it's not a colour that I'd gravitate towards but it really suits my colouring so I really like that and then I bought this one from New Look and I am going to go back and get the I think they do a blue one of this and I think I'm going to go back and get that but I am going to get it in the smaller size of this dress right here and again it's that kind of grey taupey mushroom colour which I just love <laughs> um, and it, this is from New Look like I said and it was about £16 and it's just really really wearable it's just kind of a vest top with a little pocket and then it's got a drawstring waist so it's great because you can really cinch your waist in tight and you've still got some shape but it glides over all your lumps and then the skirt's really full and um, oh, it's kind of got twisted, really full and really long, but I really, really like this. And I wore it with the Topshop Gladiator sandals and the denim jacket, and it looked really great, really just kind of casual, but pretty and kind of summery at the same time. So, yeah, those are my recent purchases. I have got a few other things to show you, but I'm waiting to put them in a separate haul because I've got, like, bits and bobs from all over the place and I want it to be a bit more organised. But, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or anything like that or you want to let me know what you've been buying in the sales shopping, then definitely do that by popping a comment in the description box and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.